What's up everybody, welcome back to another This Week in Gaming video. This is my weekly gaming news show where I talk about some of the biggest news in the gaming industry, so let's get right into it. So as everyone is getting excited for the release of Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo Switch, PD People will be making GameCube controllers for the Nintendo Switch and they will be coming in three themes. There will be a Super Mario themed one, a Zelda themed one, and a Pikachu themed one. They will be wired with 10 foot cables and they will have a swappable C stick. So you can put the actual C stick from the gaping controller as the right joystick, or you could use the standard joystick, which will be the same as the left joystick. They look really cool. I'm really excited. I will probably be picking one of these up for the release of Super Smash Brothers. NBA Live 19 released another trailer and they released the trailer about the one mode. And this year you will have the ability to create a female character in that game mode. Overall, the game looks really awesome. I'm really excited for it to come out. They came out with NBA Live 18 last year after taking a year off, and I think it was a huge step forward, and everything I've seen so far on this game has me very, very excited. So I really cannot wait for this game to drop on September 7th. Definitely check out that trailer if you want to see more about the female characters and the one mode overall. The Nintendo Switch in Japan has now surpassed the 5 million mark for software sales. So they're obviously selling extremely well, and it is another great year for the Nintendo Switch. And this will probably continue to increase as the year goes on with more games coming out. Now, when comparing the year to date of the Nintendo Switch software sales to the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One in Japan, here's what it looks like like i said the nintendo switch has just over 5 million software sales year to date the playstation 4 has over 6 million software sales the nintendo 3ds has 1.7 million the playstation vita is still selling relatively well i'd say with 815,000 year to date in japan h1z1 battle royale will be launching for the playstation 4 on august 7th Paladins for the Nintendo Switch is now free to play, so the Founders Pack is gone, which was the pack where if you bought it, you got all the downloadable characters right away, plus some skins and customizable mounts. And as well, on top of that, the newest character, Koga, who is a ninja who wields dual SMGs and claws as his weapons and has no cooldowns is now available to use. The Battle Royale game Realm Royale has a closed beta that you can sign up for starting next week for the PlayStation 4. Sonic Mania came out last week and it was a huge success specifically on the Nintendo Switch with the Nintendo Switch sales making up 52% of the sales, 34% of the sales were on the PlayStation 4 and 15% of the sales were on the Xbox One. August games with gold have been announced and I think it's a really stellar lineup. So for the Xbox One, you get Forza Horizon 2 and For Honor. And for the Xbox 360, you get Dead Space 3 and Disney's Epic Mickey 2, The Power of 2. So it was a relatively quiet news week, but that's your news. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new to this channel, and I'll catch you in the next video.